So one of the things we always want to do inside of a programming language is we want to be able to generate random numbers. Uh, in Python, no different. Uh, I want to be able to generate these random numbers because uh, if we think about every video game or every uh, some of the mathematical equations out there, mathematical algorithms like Monte Carlo simulation, uh, they use random uh, to sort of help kind of do stuff. Uh, so how do I kind of work it? Well, as you guys can clearly see from the thingy up there, uh, I can use the random library. So how do I do that? I come in and I simply go through my import statement like I normally would with any library, and I call it random. Now all of a sudden I have the ability to work through random numbers. I go random, I use the dot notation, and that's going to show me a whole slew of different options. Now the one I want to focus in on right away is just something called random. Now when I do random dot random, I know that sounds super weird, I get a random number. If I were to do it again, I get a random number. I do it one more time, I get a random number, but you're starting to notice there's a slight pattern to it. You see, when I do random dot random, as soon as I open up these parentheses, we're going to see an x, which is in an interval of sort of square bracket o and parentheses 1. Well, this is kind of referring to what we call inclusive and exclusive. You see, this square bracket, what that's indicating is that I'm actually going to be uh, including 0, but I'm not going to be including 1 in this occasion. And so all of a sudden, I get sort of a you know decimal point. Okay, well, that's not really beneficial to me at all. You know, I would really like to be able to generate maybe a whole number. Maybe I want to generate something like, uh, I don't know, uh, 0 to 99, including that. Well, okay, all right, fair enough. Well, the way we can think about it is we can actually look at this as a percentage. And that's if we think about it. That's exactly what a percentage is, say, uh, 75 Sorry, 75% really is just me saying 0 0.75. So we can kind of look at this as generating some percentage. And what that allows me to do is kind of think about it in the regards of maybe I come in and I do some multiplication. 100. Ah, all right, so I'm now getting 77. I'm getting a, whole, I'm getting a number larger than 0 that's going to be somewhere between 0 and 100. All right, but I've got that, you know, decimal point that's just kind of hanging around there. So how can I get rid of that? What I can do is I can take this entire statement that I have, random dot random times 100, and I can wrap it inside of an int. Remember, an integer turns it into a whole number, and whatever the decimal point was, it gets rid of it. So I come in, I take this entire mathematical equation I've put in, and I can hit enter. Ooh, 25. Nice little number there. I do it again. Ooh, 36. Nice little number there. I promise you, I promise you, I can't guarantee this, but I promise you, we are not going to see 25 or 36 again. Oh, thank goodness. Very close. 75. I was right. So, okay, maybe you don't want to have to do the int random dot random times 100 all the time. Well, what I can do is I can also come in and I can use something called random dot rand int. Now, rand int, as soon as I open these parentheses, what it's going to tell me it's going to do is return a random integer from A to B, including A to B. So if I say 1 to 100, then what I should see is some random number from 1 to 100. If I go a little crazier and I say one to uh, what is that? Uh, a million, I should get a number randomly from one to a million. Now one thing that we do want to kind of uh, touch on real quick is that random is not actually random. You see, it goes against the very laws of mathematics and physics to kind of say, oh, I can just produce a random number. You know, that's the point of random. You shouldn't be able to kind of calculate it out. And in fact, a lot of programming languages actually use something called uh, the Mersenne Twister algorithm. Now, if you hop on the Wikipedias uh, for a second, you see we got the Mersenne 
algorithm and you can kind of come down and there's actually a link inside there known as Python implementation. You can actually see this is the code, this is the code inside of Python that is used to generate out a random number. Because again, it has it can't just come from thin air, it has to come from something. And you see it kind of goes through the song and dance of shifting 11 bits to the left, or right shift, then shift them to the left, then shift them to the left, then shift them to the right. It does all these things, and that is how I get a number. Kind of interesting.